Aquarius, welcome to Spirit Kidita, where we are doing a past life reading and we're going to talk about how you were in your past lives and the messages you really need to know in this life to continue on your soul path and how you are currently doing on that, as well as three answers um, you're going to get at the end of this. Think about your three questions and let's get started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay oh we're starting off with interesting stuff um we have the ten of swords that is t really ten and things being done now so the pain being done and over with so lifted and a new cycle is about to begin after this so mm. In your past lives, you have hmm, struggled with, it's been generational trauma that you have struggled with, it's expectations of you, people have around you uh, made decisions that really impacted your life in not a great way, it made your life difficult and they were um, making decisions that weren't really good for you but you didn't really have the authority or you didn't feel that you could really voice your own opinion and make decisions for yourself and because of that we still have some lingering um, trauma inside of you in um, residual as well in your body and your spirit and that comes with all of this that you are not able to let anyone make decisions for you now and you became rebellious in this lifetime and now you feel that it became too much even this rebellion became too much for you and it resulted in affecting your relationships because they were stubborn as well. Those people, um, your family basically, didn't really understand you and you had to fight for your own right to be yourself. But now, as time is progressing, you realize that it affected your relationship with them so much so that you're not able to um, fix it at least you don't understand how to do that maybe you can in the long run and hmm. you are stuck in this pattern of wanting to convey how you feel and getting close to them again and not really being able to convey them um, convey your feelings to them uh, when you do actually get the time to the opportunity to and so you feel that you're always running away from your emotions and opportunities that could have gone better if you had let yourself if you had let your guard down or you had really tried to pacify them rather than hmm, deal with it in an aggressive way maybe and hmm, it's time to convey these feelings to maybe one person that you do feel comfortable around and it's a feminine energy person who might be a, a mother figure for you and this person um, even though you've had your own um, headbuttings <laughs> it's uh, it seems that they do miss you a lot and they do cherish time with you and they want you to feel comfortable around them and um, Aquarius this is the guardian in reverse is talking about 
how you don't need to protect yourself and not feel defensive around them. It's um, time to let go of this defensiveness, at least um, gradually and take baby steps, especially with this person. Maybe um, you might not be ready for other people, but for this specific person, it's definitely time. And so there is a father figure in your life that really is the stubborn person that you can seem to get along with and this person demands respect rather than earn it and that's kind of the problem with your dynamic and you you feel that they need to earn it they need to deserve it and they feel that because they are in authority figure they have earned it and they um, can't really seem to grasp your perspective and hmm, the power struggle is very much real here um, you feel that you don't want this person to influence your life anymore and they have really done a number on you as you see it and you feel that the decisions that really you need to make will be eventually be made by you and no one else and you don't even need their advice which they feel offended by and mm, so yeah it's gonna continue like this you're gonna feel defensive around them and there is possibly some talk of settling down with someone and really committing yourself to a person to a long life with them and um, possibly marriage and it seems that your family expects you to um, let them um, make that decision as well which is something you fight with them about and hmm. okay if they don't outright decide it for you if it's not an arranged thing that then it might be that they want either you to ask their opinion they want you to regard their opinion as significant enough that it really um, matters so much that you will heed their advice um, if they don't really feel that this person is right for you then you wouldn't go ahead with it and with the hierophant this is you again <laughs> rebelling against the system and <laughs> saying that it is your decision and to the, con the consequence of that is that you fear that you will be left alone and you won't have someone and meaning that you won't have them and maybe romantic partners are not something you really I don't know um, maybe you feel you fear commitment and you fear that relationships might not work out it's quite possible maybe they do for you maybe they don't um, this relationship and you don't want to jeopardize your friend uh, family and um, the love that they can offer so it is very much an inter internal struggle for you and your guides let's see what they are saying with the watcher it is your elders will have your back and not to worry about that. They're not going to abandon you and they're not going to um, let you feel that abandonment that you fear so much. So it's you shouldn't really worry about that. What you should just see is whether this person is right for you and maybe even discuss these things with your family so they don't really feel too left out. Although, of course, that it is your decision at the end. And um, 
I think they're more concerned with you, you not really telling them enough that if you're suffering after a while or when you're committed to them, they wouldn't know and they probably just want to be in the loop. And um, it is very much time and your guides are saying that better sit down and talk to them and discuss things with them in depth and um, let heated conversations happen even if they do um, they do care about you and this connection is probably gonna happen and because it looks really um, like it's gonna happen and uh, it's better to do this before that and um, while you seek your financial security you're prospering in work and in professional life so it looks really promising there we're gonna answer your three questions thinking about them Aquarius and pause the video if you need to to the first we have the knight of arrows um, a yes and to the second, a yes, nine of vessels, generosity, and to the third, a yes to all three. And to the first, let me elaborate. It's it's communication and um, communication that is um, charged and not really. Um, not really peaceful, I guess. It's, uh, I think both people are heated and say things that they don't really mean. And that might be you communicating with the people we talked about, your family. And it's better to realize um, what they really mean instead of what they're saying. Of course, we're not trying to justify anyone's behavior here, just that um you both both sides really um have an aggressive approach because of certain things that have happened and it's better to um, realize that they just want to talk to you and they want your attention and just want to get to know how you're doing so to the second it is generosity of spirit and really giving yourself the love you need and allowing other people to love you so in your circumstances uh, in your situation it's definitely that you need to allow them to love you and um, sit back and really receive all of the love and the third it looks really optimistic um, it looks really promising that um, you're starting something new with a new perspective and if you feel that there is still some work that you need to do on yourself to get that new perspective definitely do that because you need to step into this with the new um, knowledge that um, newfound knowledge for you that things can work out for you if you allow them to I know that how that sounds um, of course it's not that easy but you really need to not make your life harder for yourself unnecessarily which you have been doing so maybe stop doing that so um great yes i hope this helped and um have a great day and a life <laughs> bye